Hey everybody! Um, I'm recording a couple of videos today while I have an opportunity, but I wanted to do a video that's like a fur skins update, like an update of my fur skins collection, which are um, all on the bottom of the shelf, the Cabbage Patch shelf over here. Um, yeah, I've gotten a few fur skins things since I made my big fur skins collection video, so I wanted to share those with you. Now, when I was recording that, um, my big box of cabbies from Holly was delivered at the same time. So that same day, I got this little guy. It's one of the Wendy's ones from Holly. So thank you, Holly, for this one because I didn't have them. And then I also purchased this one from an Instagram seller. And they still have their tag. I want to say maybe this is Feral and this is Dudley. I think so. I'm not sure. Yes, yeah, so I've got two of the Wendy's ones. And I think I already had one. But I don't see it. He might have fell down. Um, and then I got two of the little bitty ones also from a couple of Instagram sellers. And I have this one. Who I think is Feral. Might be Boone. I'm not sure. So they all kind of look the same, honestly. The boys do. Except for um, Jedgar and Orville. Which... Is Orville named after Orville Wright of the Wright brothers, first in flight, which I thought was really neat. And then also there's Jedgar. I don't have a Jedgar, but Jedgar's the police one. And if you think about it, it's J. Edgar, like J. Edgar Hoover, who founded either the CIA or the FBI. I don't know. Sorry. Um, but I thought that was neat that the cop was named Jedgar. So yeah, there's Orville. There's my other one. I will be looking for more of these because they don't take up very much room, unlike the Furskins plush. Which I did get a couple of those too. Let me show you. My sweet, sweet friend Brittany found this boy for me. This is Farrell. He's the postmaster. And he was missing one shoe, so I just took his other shoe off. But yeah. So now I have him. This is a present from my sweet friend. And he has a bow and suspenders on his outfit. And there's his tail. I love their little bear tails so much. So yeah. And then on Mercari, there's still a couple that I'm looking for. But having all the ones that I do, there's not very many that I really want. Um, Selma Jean, the Possum Queen, is at the top of my ISO list. I want Selma Jean so bad. But I'm not paying $80 for her. I'm not. So, I'll just have to keep looking until I find one at a good price. I found one on eBay, but she didn't ship for several days, and I just canceled it because I'm not going to chase you to sell me something. Like, I sell things on Mercari, and if I'm not going to ship that item the next day, I message the person and let them know what's going on so they know what's happening with their item. With this purchase, I waited several days, and it, I mean, it had been like three or four days, and I was like, hey, um... Did you ship this? Are you going to ship it? And I was polite. And they were like, be patient. No. So I asked them to cancel. And they said, no, I have to have a good reason to cancel your sale. I mean, personally, I think you sitting on my item going on a week now was good reason. But it wasn't. So then after a week actually went by they let me cancel so I guess they just didn't even bother to ship it after that but um, like I said if you're if that's your business then you should take care of your customers you know move your items out in a timely fashion but that's just my rant you know like I said if I can't ship something the next day I let my customers know I feel like that's the right thing to do but I digress maybe they had something going on in their life who knows I wasn't rude I wasn't ugly but I've got Baby Thistle. Baby Thistle was one that I really wanted. Um, got her on Mercari. She just came yesterday. And she doesn't have her passy or her little headband. Oh, maybe this is this is her headband. No, it's not. That's part of her dress. Apron thing. Yeah, she's got like a smock. I don't know. She usually has like a headband thing. One of the ones I've seen pictures of. And a little passy. But her tongue does stick out. So, that's fine. And she's got the same boots as all the other girls. So, I really wanted Baby Thistle, and I'm glad that I have her. She's nice and pastel. 
and there's her little bear tail. <laughs> and she has a little diaper. So there's one other baby I think that's a darker color, um, but I don't know the name of that one. I'll have to look it up. There's not very much information available about these, um, but a lot of them you can still find online for sale that have their tags to identify them. So yeah, baby thistle and feral. So these are my two big additions, which um, I don't have any room under here. So somebody's got to go. <laughs> um, oh, sorry. <laughs> Probably going to have to part with somebody. I don't know who. Um, I would guess the boys because the girls are more pastel and that's more my thing. So, you know, I wish I could keep all of these, but stuff's got to rotate in and out as I find things that better suit my taste, that I like better. You know, I can't keep them all. Some some come in and they have to leave, and that's just part of it, you know. I, I can't have a room full of Cabbage Patch. I've already got this room, which has my other collections on these other walls, on their own shelves, and those take up quite a bit of space. And it's like, am I just going to collect Cabbage Patch and fill up this whole room with Cabbage Patch? No, I'm not going to do that. So I have to make those tough decisions, and unfortunately, some kids that come in, they have to go out after a while you know after i see that they don't fit in or they're not working and that's not just my cabbage patch collection that's anything my taste changes things rotate in and out and that's just part of collecting i think i mean some people might take anything and everything but i mean the collectors that i know you know just in the toy community they kind of do the same thing i think it's just part of it honestly but yeah i mean it is what it is. Somebody's going to have to go. I think it's going to be Boone just because um, I just don't feel as attached. Boone was the first one that I had, but he has his original tag. Um, my Dudley has an, a hand-signed foot. You know, they all have Xavier Roberts on this foot, but my other, my Dudley, his other foot is hand-signed, so I'll probably be keeping him. Um, and then I have all the girls, so I have to make a spot for this one. And I have to make a spot for this one. I mean, they have to have a place. Things have to have a place in here. I can't just have stuff all over the floor. I have to work very hard to keep this room organized. So I have to make a place for them, unfortunately. So that'll happen at some point. It makes me a little sad, but, um, you know, it is nice being able to part with things like that too because it also helps, like in my case, it helps fund getting new things because I don't have a job. I'm in college full time. So, you know, it's, it's bittersweet. I've talked about this long enough, but that was my first skins collection update that I had. I appreciate you watching. Um, leave me a sweet comment below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.